Direxo transplant our starting seeds indoors. That's exactly what we're talking about in today's fall garden series video. So here's the bottom line with four exceptions. Everything in the fall garden can be direct sown out in the garden. The exceptions to direct sowing though are going to be our slow maturing summer crops. Think tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and potatoes. These you'll want to purchase from a nursery or a big box store. Now with that being said, there are some reasons why you may want to start seeds indoors. The first reason you may want to start seeds indoors is the pest pressure. Many of our brassica crops are plagued by all of the pests of the summer. So starting them indoors allows you to protect those seedlings and wait out the life cycle of the pests. The second reason you may want to start your seeds indoors is the heat of the summer. It's hot and it is way too hot for our tender cool season crops. This can cause these crops to bolt without any protection and a lot of people opt to start indoors so that you're not constantly babying these tender seedlings. So you just want to remember you'll want to harden these seedlings off before transplanting them into the garden, which is going to require time. And that requires us to do the math to determine dates for direct sowing or transplanting. Now, if you're wondering about that math, Part one of our series went into all of that. You can also check out our fall gardening spreadsheet, which is going to give you all the info on when to start, transplant, or direct sow based on your frost dates. Now, I'll leave a few notes on what exactly to transplant, direct sow, or start from seed in the description. And next in the series, we're going to talk about prepping your beds for the winter.